3D multicolor DNA fish enables the visualization of multiple genomic loci within preserved nuclei to unambiguously define their reciprocal interaction and localization at single cell level. 3D multicolor DNA fish allows the direct investigation of the nuclear architecture. In general, it works in conjunction with chromosome capture-based technologies, making the technique a valuable tool for C data validation within single cells. Demonstrating the procedure will be Federica Marasca. She's a postdoc in my laboratory. Begin by incubating the NIC translation mix in a thermal mixer at 16 degrees Celsius, according to the length of the starting DNA material. At the end of the incubation, check the size of the probes on a 2.2% agarose gel. For each DNA fish experiment, precipitate the appropriate quantity of probe according to the starting DNA material from which the probes were produced in 150 microliters of double distilled water, 20 micrograms of unlabeled salmon sperm DNA, 3.5 micrograms of species-specific COT1 DNA, 3 volumes of 100% ethanol, and a one-tenth volume of 3 molar sodium acetate for one hour at minus 80 degrees Celsius. At the end of the incubation, centrifuge the sample at maximum speed for one hour at 4 degrees Celsius. After discarding the supernatant, wash the pellet two times with 500 microliters of 70% ethanol. After the second wash, resuspend the pellet in two microliters.